Hello and welcome to Python Projects. In this video, we will be exploring design patterns using Python. We will create the Maze Labyrinth game. The design of the Maze game looks like this. We have an abstract class called MapSite, which defines an abstract to be inherited method called Enter. We have three subclasses, Room, Wall, and Door. Each of them are inheriting the Enter method from the abstract base class. So Room has the Enter method, we are inheritance, so does Wall, and so does Door. Because the enter method of the map site abstract class is abstract, virtual, it needs to be overwritten in every of the subclasses. So room overrides enter, so does wall, so does door. And according to the book of design patterns, what happens when you enter a room or a wall or a door is defined within these three subclasses, which implement the abstract base clause. In this design, by definition, a room consists of sites and exactly of four sites. Each site inherits and implements the map site abstract clause. So what this means is a room can have a wall or four walls and it can have a door or four doors and that makes up a room. A game of maze is made up of rooms. So a maze can add a room and it can retrieve a room by its room number, which underneath the hood will return the room number private property. A game of maze consists of several rooms. Now there are different ways to create those rooms and this is where design patterns come in. The first thing we do is to create the abstract class map site. In Python, we don't use the keyword abstract, we just declare the class and we declare a method within this class. And here we say race not implemented error because it's an abstract class and a virtual method. So now when we go down here to our main self testing section, can create an instance of this abstract class, assign it to a variable, then call the enter method on that instance and run it. So when we run it, guess what? It blows up. Yeah, it says race not implemented error, abstract base class method needs to be implemented. The next step is to create an enumeration of directions. In order to do so in Python, we import enum from the enum module. This allows us to create names like north, east, south and west and underneath the hood those relate to numbers. So north is 0, east is 1 and so on. Next we create some classes that inherit from map site. We create the room class, the wall class and the door class. Each of them inherit and override the enter method. With those classes in place, we can create a maze and we can create a maze game. We can simply create a maze by instantiating a maze, instantiating a room, giving it a room number, one, instantiating another room, two, and then a door. A door requires a room on each side of the door. And then we can add those two rooms to the maze. And next we're gonna set the four sides of each of those two rooms. So we create a wall and a door and some more walls and some more doors. Now one thing that is interesting which might not be obvious from the beginning is that even though the room consists of doors and walls, the door knows the rooms it's connected to. So when we create a door, we pass in room one, room two, we save this in 
private members here and later we can figure out by calling this door method which room is on the other side of our door. Now we are ready to create a game of maze. We do so by first creating an instance of the maze game and then immediately we call the create maze method on it and store it in the maze object. After that we create a list that will store the rooms the maze has. We just choose 5 as a number so we are trying to figure out if our maze consists of five rooms. So we try it to get the room number by calling the room no method on the maze object. And if this doesn't work, we simply fall into the exception handler and say there is no room of this number. If that room number does exist, we don't fall into the exception handler. So we are trying to enter this room. And we're going to append the room to our list of maze rooms. Next, we are interested in the existing room having four sides. So retrieve the sides, get rid of a little bit of syntactic sugar here. And then what we are really interested in, first we try to enter the site. Remember, a site can be a door or a wall. And if it's a door, then we figure out if the door is open. If it's not open, we're going to open the door and then we enter it. And then we find what's on the other side of the door, which room is on the other side of the door. Now we can run our maze game. We check if there are five rooms available. The first room would be called zero, but there's no room with the number zero. Next, within the loop, we check for room number one, and yes, our maze has a room number one. We enter it, and we successfully entered it. Now, each room has four sides. So we're looking for the sides, north, east, south, west. On the north, there's a wall. We try to enter the wall, and we bang our head. We just ran into a wall. On the east direction of room one, there is a door, so we are trying to enter it, but it's not opened yet, so we can't get through it. So we'll open it, and then it tells us, yes, we have opened the door and passed through it, and the door object is this one here. That object will change whenever you run it, and it tells us that this door is a side of room 1, and on the other side, which is a method of the door class, door instance knows which rooms it is connected to. On the other side of this room is room 2. Then within the loop, we bang our head some more. And we continue the loop to find more rooms. So in room 2, we have the same thing. We find the door here. And what's interesting is that the door object, which in my case here ends at 89, is the same as this one, which really proves that the door is connecting our two rooms. So there's no room number three, there's no room number four. So we summarize that there are two rooms in our maze and that the two rooms have a door, which is the same object, the door is the same object in those two rooms and they are combined or connected by east and west sides.